I'm Paul. I'm Devin. Together, we're Dads and Dice, two dads who like to play some games during our free time. That's right, and today we are going to be unifying China in Zhengao, the First Empire. Okay, we have everything set up here for Zhengguao, the first empire. Uh, this game takes place over, I guess there was kind of a period of unrest mm -hmm. in the uh, Chinese land or whatnot. And so, was it Zhengguao? Is that the person? Uh, say I'm, that's the person? I'm not exactly yeah, sure on my I'm history not sure. there. Uh, but he was the first, uh, I guess, emperor. Emperor, and yeah. He tried to unify mm -hmm. the lands. And so that is what we are going to be trying to replicate here. Um, so we have the main board here, um, which does have a little bit of area control aspect, mm -hmm. uh, as well as kind of different goals and things we'll be going for. Um, and then we have our individual player board set up here. So um, this game is going to be played over, it essentially is going to be 30 turns. Mm -hmm. It's five rounds, each round consisting of six actions that are kind of uh, not necessarily card driven, but every turn you will be playing a card. So we'll, uh, we'll go through 30 cards each, and um, that will be the game. So on your turn, there's really, um, I'm going to say two things you can do. The first thing you can do is you can take one of your cards and you can tuck it into an area. And when you do that, uh, if it's the first card you tuck in an area, you get one unification token. Um, for the matching color, and then there's no nothing else that happens. However, if you tuck a second or a third card in that area, so when you tuck the second, you will actually get two of the topmost, the one you just tucked, unification tokens. Um, but you will also begin to get some unrest in that area. So the people in uh, we uh, will be starting to kind of have some unrest mm -hmm. about what you are going about trying to do there. Um, and then when you get the third, you will get three tokens, but you will also get two unrest in that area. Um, I'll get into what the cards actually do, but just a note, if you ever have three unrest in that area, you cannot use those cards that are in that area in any way. So that's kind of the first action mm -hmm. you can do. And then the second action that you can do is you can place a card over there and then do one of the six actions that are around that area. So uh, kind of going in order there, the first will be to recruit uh, one of these various types of workers. You have, you have alchemists, generals, and architects, each kind of involving a different action over there. Uh, but so when you do it, you just will recruit the alchemist into one of the five areas and that's it that's all that happens there the next will be to move your ship so we each start here and kind of can follow this track here all the way to the end um, and what this allows you to do is it will allow you to either get more of your terra carta um, army out there or to we all start with various uh, alchemist cards um, that you can tuck and they they work a lot similar to the regular cards you can tuck, however, uh, they don't cause any unrest when you tuck them. And they're a bit more powerful. Um, yeah, overall. I would say overall probably a slightly bit more powerful. Um, so that is that is kind of how that track works there. Uh, the, when you cross this, you will get to choose from one of these master alchemists, adding it to your hand that you can later tuck. And then this will be a multiplier for the end of the game based off how many blue cards you have tucked. Um, and then the, the little kind of lone island here uh, refers to the little terracotta army uh, pits and we'll get into how those work. So that's the second action. The third action is going to be to um, build or, or um, place? place a governor. Um, so if you ever have three um, three different of the workers you can spin them all and then you will get to place one of your governors in that area so I would place it in Zhao and there's these different bonuses here of course Zhao doesn't actually have anything more than this one here uh, but you would just place it there um, when it's ones like this you can choose any of the three bonuses and then if all three are taken any amount of generals can be here and they are actually going to be end of game kind of area control. The person with the most generals will get an extra 10 points uh, per area. 
the fourth action over there um, is to we're not going to say hire workers, but to get, get workers. workers. Uh, so in an area where you have a general, uh, the idea is they kind of beat down the doors of the homes uh, and you are able to recruit two workers in that area. However, that does add to the unrest in the area because they don't actually like you kicking down their doors and dragging their... Making uh, them work. <laughs> yeah, dragging their men out of the homes to work. Uh, but yes, that will be to get workers. The next will be to build a palace. Um, and so, kind of like the, the uh, governors, there are these little palace tiles, and they'll be just kind of immediate scoring. So, uh, somewhere that you have an architect and two workers, and then one worker from any other area, uh, you spin the two workers, the one from another area, and you place out one of your palaces in that area. So you place it in, in we. Um, and you'll immediately get six points plus the kind of bonus points of the area that you're going to uh, if you're the first person to do that. And so in this case, it's for every tucked uh, green card in uh, the area. And so I'd get six points plus three, I'd get nine points immediately. And that's kind of it for the palaces. Um, you don't get any kind of in-game victory points for them. It is just during the game that you get them. So no area control for them. Uh, the last thing they do is they let you get one of these kind of temporary uh, plus two uh, unification tokens. And they are ones that you have to spend in this round. Um, and we'll get into how we do those here in just one second. And then the final action will be to build a wall. And so uh, building a wall is just either spending one two or three workers from different areas and you will build a section of the wall and you'll kind of see there that some uh, have to be built with one worker, some have to be built with two, some have to be built with three and really they'll just be end of game multipliers. So in this case here all your tucked green cards will either be worth times two or times three um, and so they'll just be different end of game victory conditions that we each kind of want to go for. Okay, so that is really all the actions that you can do. Um, it's pretty straightforward on the actions. I think it makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. once we kind of start playing it. Um, whenever you place a card over to that area there, um, the first card doesn't matter. You will just get to place it and kind of do the action and do bonuses. Uh, but from then on, every time you place a card, you will try to kind of strategically either place a card higher or lower than the previous number. So if you're doing an action on the left hand side there and you place a number that is higher, you will then get to go through your board that you've built out and do any bonus actions uh, relating to that. And then the same goes with the right hand side. If you place a card that is higher, you will get to then do any kind of bonuses for that. So in this example, there's a 54 out there and let's just say that I put, here's perfect, a 56 um, instead, and I am doing the palace action. I'm building a palace, I spent all my workers, right, and I build a palace over here in Chu. I could then go through my board and I could do anything that had a palace. So in this case, I just have one, and this lets me move uh, these kind of workers up to two spaces or, you know, something like that. If I had built walls, I would get to do this one and this one. Um, and so it's it's really a way you can maximize those 30 mm -hmm. turns that you have um, to try and really just get the biggest kind of bonuses and kind of little engine that you can build out of it. Um, so we'll be doing all of that, and that's really the bulk of the game. The last step of the game is the unification rewards, and it's really kind of the unification rewards and the cleanup phase, um, but we were going to evaluate this this stage here, and we're going to go through first the green, and I don't remember the exact names. I know one is mathematics, one is writing, and one is... Currency. Currency? Yeah. So we have currency, we have writing, and... Mathematics? I think. I'm not sure about mathematics. I know this one's currency. Okay. Uh, but yes. So we'll evaluate the green first, and the person that has the most green tokens can choose to spend them all to get the first reward, and the, they'll be going in order between each round. They'll get, they'll get better as the rounds go on. 
Uh, but so if I won it, I could spend my you know one green and I would get to put a worker out and chew. And then we'd evaluate the white and then the, the black and so on. Um, you don't have to claim a reward at all. Um, and you could, if you have the option to claim one, you can always choose not to and then it goes to the next person mm -hmm. um, now they will always have to have at least one token to spend to claim that reward and then that will also be kind of how we um, determine first player anyway we do that and then we kind of do a quick little cleanup um, you will get to spend excess tokens to uh, make more terracotta warriors you can only ever carry five of these tokens uh, throughout the game, then we'll move to the next round. Uh, do that five times and we'll kind of get into end game. Uh, so end game is very simple. It's gonna be your base end game points. Uh, we will then evaluate all the five areas and the person with the most governors will get 10 points per area. Uh, you will look at your blue cards and however many blue cards you have tucked uh, times whatever multiplier you reach is the points there. The next will be your terracotta um, army formation so uh, as we're able to achieve those various conditions out in the kind of the pits um, we will get immediate victory points but if we uh, ever form any rows or columns with them uh, we'll evaluate that at the end and they'll be worth 10 points each uh, next up will be the walls so uh, for whatever you know two times three or whatever space you got you will get uh, to get your wall uh, in game points. And then lastly will be just any remaining terracotta um, warriors you have out to five or nine points. Person with the most points is the winner. So game <laughs> is uh, as simple as that. Um, hand me those cards there. We, will, we got a couple last minute uh, things we have to do for our, um, our beginning of the game set up. Now, one thing that's cool about those cards also is they are numbered. Uh, it's 1 to 120. All of the white cards are 1 to 40. The black ones are 41 to 80. And then the green ones are 81 to 120. So it's kind of a, a way to kind of, I can see what Devin might have um, so that I can kind of get those bonuses and plan for that just a, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I uh, almost cheated <laughs> and started with some those um so first thing you want to random who goes first uh there you first okay and then we do have our starting tiles here uh so we we got two of them at the beginning of the game and we're gonna pick one of them uh mine are not the ones that i think i wanted but no. that's okay <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we each select. So it looks like I have either, I have both a general and an architect in Chew, or a general in Chew, one unrest in way, and then two unification tokens. Mm -hmm. um, I don't necessarily, I think the architect is good. Help me get some palaces out. General is good, get some workers out. Um, I think I'm going to go for this one. It's going to give me a little bit more options. Yeah, so I'm kind of... I don't have a lot of options. It's either two generals in Chew, or one general in Chew, and two boat movements. So nothing really immediate. I don't get any unrest for either of mine. Yeah, uh, which is nice. nice. I don't <laughs> think I want the two generals in Chew. I think I'm going to take the one general in Chew and start with just two boat movement. That's nice. Uh, that yeah. way, if I do the three boat movement, I at least get something for it. Uh, yeah, and you'll get to tuck a alchemist card. Yeah, so, and then I can kind of go from there. So You're going to need an alchemist there. So, all right, um, so you're up first. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is draw cards. We take two from every single deck here. And then we start playing them. Okay, I am the first up here, and it's a lot going on. This there game is. There's is. a lot to think about in this game, and there's a lot to do with kind of the ordering mm -hmm. in which you do things. Um, so I think I am going to tuck this card here. Mm -hmm. Let me push these up. In Yan. 
and I will get one white there. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm actually gonna be tucking for my first action as well. Um, and I think I'm gonna tuck here in Zhao. So that will go there, and I'm also gonna get a white. Now for these unification tokens, uh, it is limited. There's only nine of each color in a two-player game. So um, we'll be trying to see who can get the most there. All right, on to you. Um, over to me, I am going to, I'm gonna tuck into um, we I'll tuck into we okay oh that should be there uh, and yep I get a green okay. unification token I'll put mine up here I'm gonna tuck into Zhao another white that's gonna get me two unification tokens and an unrest in Zhao okay back to you Interesting first round here. Nobody's actually taken any actions on the board just yet. I know. We're building up our engines. I think I'm learning from you. <laughs> well, I'm about to take an action now. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna place this over there. So 118. 118, and I am just going to do the recruit action. And I am going to recruit a arc, uh, alchemist, excuse me, into Chu. Hey, very nice. Uh, so that's 118. I am going to play this one here, which is 107, and I'm going to recruit as well. Um, and it is lower than yours. So I'm going to be recruiting into Zhao, mm -hmm. um, and I'll recruit an architect. Yep. Once I recruit for my bonus action, since it was less, I get to also recruit a or uh, general yeah. into there. So, okay, on to you. I like it. I and like it too. I am going to move my ship. Okay. It's number 63, that is lower. Yep. So you're and going three spots. Yep, three one, spots. Two, and then three. when I move the ship, uh, doing the bonus, I get mm -hmm. a plus one. So, All right. there. Um, and I will get to tuck one of my blue cards here. Into Chew, right? Um, into oh, Chew yeah, is into my chew. only option. Uh, let's just do... Let's do this one. Okay. All right, uh, so for my second action... Um, well, I actually think I need to do this. Let me see. I'm gonna tuck this card here. And I'm gonna get a black unification token. Okay, do you. Okay. Um, I am going to... I'm gonna do the boat movement again. Okay. Yeah. Flying down there. I am one, two, three, and four. Um, so I will place another blue, and then I will get one of these mm -hmm. master alchemists. Um, so let's see that first one there. On the first the one left. there is when you build a wall, uh, you will get a victory point based off the round. Based on the round, okay. This one here is when you recruit, you will get a victory point based off the amount of yeah, terracotta. Your terracotta. Um, hmm. Yeah. I don't really know. I think I'm gonna do the wall one. Okay. Um, now that comes after having tucked, so I mm -hmm. will tuck first. Okay. And while you do that, I'm going to yep. go ahead and do my turn. Um, so I'm actually going to go here, and I'm going to do the uh, get workers action. So I'll get two workers and chew. And when I get workers and chew, I do get to bring down an unrest. So that unrest would have gone up, but now it's going back down because of that. 
Um, so there is my action there. <coughs> I think I'm gonna... I like this idea of my workers uh, having less unrest. Mm -hmm. But I also don't have a lot of high unrest at the <laughs> moment. Um, so maybe do something that produces some unrest. There you go. Make those people nervous. Let's do that. Let's uh let's put this one here. Okay. All right, and then what color card do you have there? Is it a black one? Black. Okay, so could beat me on the black unification. We're tied at the moment for green. Um, I've got white, which is probably the one that I wanted the least. Do I want workers? Green gets you a worker, or black gets you a worker. Um, I think I'll tuck. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this one into a way. That's just gonna get me a green. All right, on to you. Hmm. I think. I think I'm going to tuck as well. Yeah, we'll tuck into Zao. Okay. Um, I'll just get one black unification. All right, and that is the end of the round. So now we're doing the unification rewards here. So we'll start with green, and I am winning that. Um, I'll go ahead and recruit somebody. Mm -hmm. So I'll spend my two unification ones here, um, and I will go to that. And it's somebody in Chu. Let's get uh, this person in Chu. Okay. An alchemist. Okay, next up is the white. So I'm winning that as well. I feel like I need to start going down that track. Um, can't quite do everything, but. Yeah, can't do everything, but I feel like those alchemist cards are. But yes, it, it's nice because they're a free tuck, right? Yeah. Like it's not one of your actions to tuck. And it doesn't move up the unrest or anything like that you don't get the unification yeah, it's definitely tokens nice, like when you can put one mm -hmm. um, like here in Zao where it would you know um, but it's also it's only three movement so next time it would be what is that a two workers in way see I kind of like that better um, so I'm gonna pass on white okay now, I know giving you three movement is actually probably something that you'd like. Yeah, I don't actually <clears throat> know. Let's see here. Because I was planning to write movement myself. That yeah. is building a bonus. Um, It's so hard to determine if this first round ones are actually worth it or not. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so if I go, it doesn't save me all that many steps, right? Because mm -hmm. I'd have to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to move four times. Yes. Four, one, two, three, four. I guess it, it saves, saves you a one. one turn. And then I guess I just don't build up the 
the ship. Yeah, like the ship action mm -hmm. anymore from there. That's tough. It's like if I get cards that synergize with boat moving, because mm -hmm. I know I'm going to want to do that anyway. But on the other hand, it's like, well, I could just synergize with other mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to take it. Okay. And my other hesitation with it was two, one, three, four. It definitely means you will um, get the black one. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. um, but I think I can. That's worth. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I just moved four. I should not have one, mm -hmm. two, three. Yeah. Right yeah. Uh, um, I definitely will get that black one. And I want that worker. Oh, and I'm tucking. So. Okay. I'm going to tuck that. Okay. And then I took the black one. I paid my black unification token. Um, so yeah, that's it there. Uh, okay, spending three. You do not have three to spend. I am not going to spend three. Okay. I don't think it's worth it just yet. Um, and then we can't have over five. So I have four, you have two, and then we move the round. And then that is it. We'll go ahead and go there. And does first player change? It goes off that order, so I will now be first player. Oh, that's player. right. Or I guess I yep. will be again. You are first player again. Okay, so let's figure out what we're doing here. I can tell I'm glad I moved my boat. <laughs> <laughs> It was a long decision, but I am glad I moved my boat here. Um, you know, it's odd to me. All the cards I want to tuck are white, and there is not a thing out in our scoring that benefits tucking, tucking white cards. Tucking white cards, yeah, I know. <laughs> the only thing are these unification ones. I think I'm ready. Okay, all right. It's uh, your turn okay. first. Okay, I am going to tuck. Tuck that in a vowel. Mm -hmm. So we have two black and one unrest. Okay. Are those two blacks in Zao? Yes. I was thinking about tucking in Zao, and then I saw the palace there. You need a. Uh, it's beneficial that black. My black cards are not good to tuck in Zao right now. Uh, so instead, we're going to do this here. We're going to tuck this one in white. That's going to get me two whites. If you can get me a white unification. And then I raise my unrest one there. Okay, to you. Okay. I don't want to recruit. Mm -hmm. um, let's recruit a General. In a way. Mm -hmm. 
right, so when I recruit a general, I get a worker here, and then I get one unrest. Okay. Um, I am going to do a shipping action. I'm playing card number one. Nice. Uh, so I will ship one, two, three. And then I will get to place a general here, and I'll get to place a uh, alchemist there. Okay. I'm going to tuck. Here in yawn mm -hmm. to white and then unrest. Okay. I'm going to. So the ordering here, if I were to tuck here, then I get to three immediately. Oh, okay. It's on mind. Yeah. 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 That's right. Um, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, I need to recruit workers. So I am going to play this card here. Number 116, and I'm going to get some workers, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to do it in Zao. And then here, nope, I'm sorry, this one, oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Those two workers are going to come here to weigh. That's what I want. Well, then this can go down and unrest, but there is no unrest there. So, All right to you. I'm going to. I think recruit. Mm -hmm. It's card number ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Um, That'll go there, and that'll go there from this, but uh, I don't know exactly which one I'm recruiting. I think. Unrest needs to go down and wait for me. I think I'm going to recruit in way. Oh, uh, yeah, the architect. That's right. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I am going to. Ship. Uh, so I'll get this here and I'll get another one here. You know what? Ignore I played that one. Mm, maybe not. What am I doing? We're going to play this one. that up. Okay, we are going to play that one. Um, and we'll ship, and this will go there, and this will go there. So that's moving three. One, two, three. So I do get to tuck a card. Um, and I'm going to tuck this one. 
and I'll tuck it here. Mm. No, I will tuck it here. Okay. Okay. Play 88, and I'm going to uh, get some workers. Mm -hmm. Get them in way. And the unrest goes up, the unrest goes back down. And actually, this makes unrest go down, but I don't have any unrest else? <laughs> to go down, so that is that. I need some unrest to go down. Um, ooh, I'm about to get some people in way. You don't need to win green. I do. Oh, I don't need to win green. <laughs> and I wish I could tuck my green here, but I cannot because I uh, for my unrest. I could. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. need a worker here or an architect here or here let's do this this might I think this will work possibly Not sure what I'm doing. There's so much. Mm -hmm. There's so much going on in this one. Uh, okay. Build a palace. I can't build a palace because I need an architect in one of these. So I need a worker here in order to build a palace. And then I can do something. Okay. So I need a worker. We're going to play this card here. We're just going to recruit a worker. Um, we're going to get an architect, and it will go here. That's fine. Um, now, I did play a higher card, mm -hmm. so I'm going to do this middle action, which just lets me move one over. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll move... Hmm, actually, I'll move this one here. Perfect. Okay. Now it's to you. I am going to play that. Mm -hmm. I am... What was I going to do? I'm also going to recruit. Okay. Um, I hadn't gotten a step above that recruiting, I think. Might just stick this guy here. Stick this guy. Look at all your recruits. Mm, I know, but I just realized something not so great. You got so many recruits. Um, yeah, I'm just going to set the architect there. All right. Uh, so for my turn, I'm going to build a palace. And I'm sorry, Devin, but I'm going to have to build it in Chew. Um, because I'll at least... Get six points? Get six points. Okay. Um, actually, it does me... It's either in Chew or Zhao. Neither of them give me points. You're going to get a ton of points if you build a palace in Chew. So... That's fine. Uh, you're still going to get a ton of points if you build a palace in Zhao. So that's going to go there. Um, and I get six points. 
And then you're out of cards. So which one? I can't win black, so I'm going to take this green one. Um, and then let's see for workers, these two. And we'll take this one. There's my three workers. Uh, and that's it. Okay. So this will flip over just because it's not good anymore. All right. Uh, that's it. Yep. Unification rewards. So, yep. You took green there. So, I took green. I will take that. This goes there. And I will. Okay. Yep. And next up, you also have white. I also have white. And I will take white. And so I don't have any more reds, but I do get an architect. Um, and way, I need an architect for way. That will go there. Okay, and then, and then I this take move black. is down, right? Um, yes. I take black. Mm -hmm. So you get two alchemists in the same region. Somewhere. Somewhere. Queen looks good. Queen looks pretty good. Happening in way. It's probably way. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, that is it. I need to spend for Terracotta Army. Anything excess? Round mirror marker moves up. And I am first player. Whoa. Okay. I like that. At this point of the game, I wish all of these cards would have been tucked somewhere different. What's that? I'm I sorry. wish all of these would have been tucked somewhere different. Um, I wish my blue would have been tucked somewhere different if I had known you were going to build in uh, Chew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so first thing I'm going to do is tuck this card here. That will get me three whites. I'm sorry, yeah, three whites, two unrest. That's not where I wanted to tuck it. That's okay. I'm going to tuck this here and get three black. Okay. I am going oh, to unrest. Two. Tuck this one in Yon. That gets me a white. I've got all your shipping cards that you wanted originally. Yep. So you're going to do a lot of shipping. I think so. You're doing the shipping after you already uh, <laughs> did yeah, this. I know. Oh, I know. Don't worry. I'm going to go ahead and do a section of the wall. Okay. So... I will build spend one of each of these guys. Mm -hmm. I am so. Okay. 
and I'm doing the number two on the left there, and then I get that token on the top. Shipping, you get an emperor, a governor. 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 Okay. To me. Well, I'm going to ship. And so that's four movement. One, two, three, four. So I'll get this master. Um, now, do you think you need a general to be able to place a warfare there? Okay. Well, I'm going to tuck this one here. Uh, so I did this. Here I get to place a blue, which is there. And then I get to move three, which I'll do. I get to move five in total. And then I get to place another red here, which I don't have any more red. So I get to do five movements. So this will go. There, that's two, three. I don't know, I do want that one there. Two, three, four. That's what we'll do. Yeah, yep. Uh, do I need any in a way? Ooh, I do need one in a way. That's okay. That's where we're at. Yeah. Okay. I am going to uh, tuck this guy here in Queen. White. Okay. I'm going to do a, a governor action. And Zhao. So that's going to get rid of all these workers. Governor is going to go here. And then reduce that to zero, but it was already there. Um, and I get to place a worker, and we'll place um, here. Here. Yeah. Okay, to you. I think I'm gonna vote. So playing card 28, and you're doing the shipping action? Yes. Um, so, I'll move four. And I can get an unrest here to get a worker here. Mm -hmm. And then, or the walls get people. Let's do this one. Okay, that's it. All right, I'm gonna tuck here and chew. Give me two blacks. Okay. I'm gonna build a wall. Deciding whether it's worth having three points or a, another worker here. Yeah. I might as well just get the three points. And I am building a wall. I feel like 
we're both going to be competing for mm. this one, so it's going to be the one that I'm going to go ahead and get now. Very good move, because, uh, yeah. You know, for sure. I could get this one to like work my way toward what I'm kind of trying to do. Yeah. Um, but this gives me. Uh, for sure. I was definitely going to go for that one. Yeah, we both seem like we were building for it. Okay, uh, I'm going to get workers. Um, so we'll get workers, two of them. Um, where do I need workers? Let's go here to Kui. And so here, when I do workers, I'm going to have to go down and unrest somewhere. So that will go down. Um, and then that's it. Your last turn. I think I'm going to go ahead and ship. Here's my dilemma. I, uh, If I claim this reward, mm -hmm. which is what I was planning for, I need somewhere to stick those cards. <laughs> so maybe I recruit. <laughs> That's probably not a bad call. Recruit some. Oh, yeah. Then you just put a blue over there. <laughs> yeah, so you know what? We'll, uh, we'll use that to recruit. Um, so we'll recruit a blue here. Oops. And Kui. Kui. Um, when I recruit, I can get a worker. I can get minus one unrest. I can get a red guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably not too bad. Okay. All right, so that is end of a round. Yep. Unification. So you won gray, uh, green. Ooh, with one token mm -hmm. and one green. <laughs> uh, so two workers. Where should those go? Oh, and then white. I won white. I'm going to claim white. Uh, and that's two workers as well in the same region. So I think, what is Yon? Hmm. There's so many recruits. I know. Uh, and then I won black. And I guess let's put them both. Let's go there. Here. Why not? Actually, no. We'll go to Yon. Why not? That's where they need to go. Okay. And then black. Looks like I won black also. Um, uh, no, I got the black. I already spent it. I oh, you did? It. Okay. Yes. Um, all right. So that goes there. Would you like to spend some for a terracotta? And then go down to five, and we're on round four. First here. Okay, start of round four. Cards. And what are we doing? Hmm, we're definitely doing that. I'm going to go here. Talk to that. You get two whites. Bring that up. I've got to do some emperoring, some governing. I've got to do a lot. I actually do too. I'm gonna 
tuck this card here. Mm -hmm. Turn the rest in three, two of these, three of these. Okay. I'm gonna play this one for a wall action. And I need um, three of them. From different areas? Yes, they're from different areas. I think I need three of them. Yeah, definitely need three of them. Um, and we're going What am I doing? Go in here. And that's it. Let's do this one. Okay. I am going to do a governor. Mm hmm. Governor. Do I do a governor or do I do I think I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna do a palace. Mm -hmm. So mm. oh, that's supposed to be above 119. I don't foresee that happening. <laughs> I don't know if we've played 120 yet, but uh, that would be the one card. <laughs> I don't foresee that happening. So which of these guys do I not care as much about? Let's do uh, let's do that one. Fifty one. What did I say I'm doing? Palace? I think so. The nice thing is, uh, I only have one palace thing and it's yeah. just moving three versus That's nice. moving just one. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just move one. <laughs> <laughs> right? Doesn't doesn't really do much different. Um <laughs> So I'm gonna build a palace. I'm gonna use these two plus this for my workers. Where was that? That was in way. Mm -hmm. right, so it'd be six points plus four, so ten points. Plus four. Uh, oh, I mean six plus, plus three. What is that? That's uh, oh, I thought it was two each. I'm sorry, three. Oh. So six. It'd be twelve points. Okay. So you're at uh fifteen. And then I will take the. What color cards you got in your hand? You got all your cards in there. Yeah, I got uh, every color. In a way, it's kind of nice to be completely full up here because then you're just like, I just got to play all my cards. Yeah, I can literally only play one <laughs> <Yeah>. card left. <laughs> like, um, you're kind of in a nice spot. Yeah, um, so let's... God, I supposed to be going for stuff out there. <laughs> um, whoopsies. Whoopsie daisies. Maybe I just don't do that. Um, I guess let's take the... Let's take the black. Okay. <coughs> All right, so my turn. Yes. 
Um, I am going to tuck this card here. Two unrest and three black. you what number is out there 51 like I planned it 50 <laughs> I like 50. it um, I'm gonna build a governor in way yes way and oh those are mine how am I doing this won't go there splash in the pot <laughs> these backwards. I thought this was this. <laughs> um, not exactly what I wanted. Um, so that's three points or get a person out. There's so much I want to do. Let's get a person out, and you can go while I think about the person. What action did I just do? I built uh, a governor. I'm yeah. sorry. There's a lot I'm doing for building a governor. Uh, I've been planning for this for a little bit, so let me figure out the person. Um, I don't think it matters too much. I have zero workers, so uh, let's put this one here. And then uh, going through here, I'm going to get an unrest, two colored tokens. Mm -hmm. Force a tie-in. How many do you have? I have five. I could force a tie-in black. Are those walls like really what I want? What I really, really want? Um... Sure, sure up one of these maybe. You have to put down two green cards to beat me, or a green card and a palace. On green? Do what? To beat you on green? Yeah. yeah. Do you have two green cards in your hand? I have one. So green card and a palace. I have one worker. One worker, so I don't see that happening. Uh, how many white cards do you have? One. I have two. Maybe I take uh, two white. I'm sorry, decisions. Or I put a bunch of black. The thing is, I know realistically, this is three points for me. This mm -hmm. is three points for me. Um, I could potentially do this one, but it's not like yeah, it's not like I'm getting a ton of points. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take two white. Okay. Hmm. Well. Oh. That was just that one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> then this one, I get an unrest for a black and a green. Okay. Um, and then this one, I move my boat once. And, and then you get this if you want it. Do you want this? Um, this one, I get an unrest for a worker. Um, so I think I have two options. What is better? So that one's six. And the other is for way. Way is five. What is Kui? Have I done anything in Kui? You I have not. <laughs> Ugh. I guess that's the one. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. 
Um, is that it for you? Um, yeah, I, so because I did it in way, that goes down. Okay, I'm gonna do this. This is kind of what I've been planning on doing. So we're going to ship first. So that's one, two, three. Um, I can tuck cards. I'll tuck this one here. Sorry, sorry. All right, uh, so then, unfortunately I can't do that one. This moves one more because of this. Um, I can put this one here. Uh, there's no more reds for me. I can move two. What am I doing in way? Am I doing anything in way? Have I forsaken way? Honestly, I, I didn't think I had. Yeah. What do I need in Zhao? Oh, I need a lot in Zhao. I think I've forsaken Zhao. I'm moving this one one here. That's what we're doing. Okay. Can we build a wall in Kui? Mm-hmm. Uh, not yeah. in Kui. <laughs> uh, building a wall. And Using Kui workers. Yeah. Actually, a yawn worker. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my thought of Kui was I'm about to oh, get okay. something in Kui. Uh, and just going right there. Okay. And get my sweet one point but I do get four points right now awesome and I get this guy in Kui okay to me um, mm. Mm. I'm gonna go here and actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to get some workers in. Chew. So now I can't use that. Correct. Or. Do you have? So it doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter one bit. Um, doing something on the left side. And say so you need to do a left and then a left again. <laughs> that's that's yeah, that's how exactly. this is gonna work. Right. That's <laughs> that's what I mean. So I'm doing something on the left side. Um, I could. I get my boating done. I have to boat one more time. Then I know you won't be in competition for this one. Uh, yeah, I'm not at all attempting to get these seven free boats. Um, I might. So yeah, I'm gonna boat. Because I need to. The other thing I want to do, I'm not sure how great it is. Yeah, we're gonna boat. Okay, we're on a boat. One, two, three, and it will be four. So I'm gonna do the bonus. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> I need an extra bonus to finish it off. No, no, you don't. No, that's quite terrible. I don't know that I want to do that. I don't think you have to take the bonus. Do what? Oh, but to get a worker. It's the, if I get a worker, mm -hmm. I do this. Um, is that okay? It's not like you need any more boat actions. Yeah, so I don't need any more no. boat actions. 
and then it's like I wouldn't be able to get any more workers yeah. either way anyway, right? Mm -hmm. And last round coming up, but I couldn't touch a card. That might be the difference. That's <laughs> true. Uh, so you know what? I may not do that. I may instead. this person to the south so instead of moving the boat one more one extra oh oh that's right I do have to do mm -hmm. that yeah I just don't think I'm gonna take that mm. what do I want in the last round yeah that's where I'm at there's so much that I want in the last round that I'm unsure you're gonna do it. Like you're gonna take black, and you'll be ahead in white, mm -hmm. you'll be even on green. I also don't want black, so <laughs> there's that. Um, so it's between white and green. just think I'm going to not get the worker. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play this one. I'm going to palace and chew. Or just chew. Oh, wait, no. I already have a palace and chew. I'm going to palace and... Oh, no. This is like this. I wanted... I did palace and chew. Ooh. And when I did this, I should have unlocked mm. two of these. Yeah. One will go in way. Mm. At the end of my turn there. That is the only place I can palace would be in Chew. Let's castle instead, or wall. Hold on. Maybe not. Let me see. What am I going to do? I don't need the palace and shoe. I'm going to do an emperor, a governor action, and chew. So my workers stay there or do they go away? You're doing what action? I'm sorry. I was if I do listening. a governor action here, do my workers stay or do they go away? What's the governor action? I'm oh, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the workers stay. Okay. I don't know if they left the job because the boss left. No. <laughs> they stay. Yeah. Um, okay. They're, ha they're happy now because <laughs> you have now appointed a governor, right? That and makes sense. The unrest goes down. I'll have so much disdain for you. That is so thematic of you. <laughs> um, okay. And then this will go. Chew. Which one do I want in Chew? You have a ton of blues in Chew. And you're definitely a governor in Chew. I just block your points, but that's nothing for me. You get three points. No, I don't have any blues in Chew. This is anywhere. This? Oh, that is anywhere. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, we're definitely doing that. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be my next move. Sorry. Uh, and then I think that was... Uh, you get those points immediately, by the way. I did. I just gave myself three. Oh, oh but then six. Fifteen. Wait, what is the six from? So I got three for this. Uh -huh. Oh, there is no six. for. Yeah. That's for Palacin. Yeah. Um, speaking of, the two I put there, we mm, should have gotten immediate. Yeah. Six and five, so eleven. So that should be at thirty. I'm going to put it at thirty. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was hateful. <laughs> um, so for my last action, maybe I don't govern. Uh, I finished you. It's a 
this year. What was it? Uh, uh, five. Okay. We are. Still can govern. The issue with governing is I waste this, like all these tokens I would get. Mm -hmm. I could beat you on black, um, but like I would waste it's a ton of tokens. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So I think instead I will. Uh, Still recruit. How did you get your two terracotta people out there? Was it from that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to do... Uh... I'm just going to do that. And I will bump this down and put out a black bread. All right. End of round? Yeah. Invocation, so you have a green. I have green. So you are getting to claim a mausoleum. Let's do it in Yon for nine Ooh, points. Okay. Oh, uh, I think it's... Well, it's it comes from matter. there, yeah. So nine, so you'll be at 39 up there. Okay. Um, white... That's really the one that I wanted, but you were really giving it to me there. Yep. I'm assuming you're going to claim one in Kui. I am going to claim one in Kui. Mm -hmm. um. Probably just the terracotta thing. Realized I read that one wrong. The this wall. I'm missing a blue. Oh, it's in my hand. Which one? This wall. It's not in the same region. Yeah, it is. Uh, Definitely not there. Yeah, you're in the same position as me on those. Um. I'm sorry, I'm still deciding on which of these two things I want. Getting out a terracotta guy. Mm, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. 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 And then I'm going to take the castle. And I think the best bet for the castle for me right now is this one. 
the wall. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, ten victory points for me. Um, so that's worth that, keeping. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, that is it. Spending any for terracotta? I am. Nice. Oh, I forgot I was doing that. That's okay. Well, I need another one anyway to get another row. So. Yes. All right, so this will go here. This will go here. Um, round five. Last round. Let's go ahead and get the cards. Okay. I have a lot to do in these six actions. I do too. I have a lot to do. A whole lot to do. So I don't know if I can do oh, it. And I didn't get my cards. Get workers in Kui. Mm -hmm. Does the unrest in Kui go up? Here I lower the unrest here, and then one anywhere. The yawn. Here I can move a worker. Think about that in a second. Here I do the unrest anywhere. Move out. Um, Move a worker. I don't think so. I don't think so. My turn. Um, sort of. I uh, into my turn. One of my blue people will go up to the. Three. This one? No. There. This one? Yeah. Okay. And then you'll be at 42. Okay. Um, so I am going to ship So I'll move three. One, two, three, plus one because of mm -hmm. that. Um, so that's this one. Here I will get this worker here. Here I'll get a blue worker. Here I'll get a red worker. And then I'll get to move them twice. So I think I want. people now? Mm-hmm. Wow. I do. Actually, I guess I have all but one. I think I want this. No, I don't know. Um, you can go ahead and go while I'm figuring out what to do here. Okay. I want to um, put a governor in Queen. So, the governor goes in Kui. I'm going to get a worker. I'll get that in one second. We'll do the rest of my actions. And Chu goes up. I'm going to do these in a different order. This goes up. I get a green and a black. I ship one. And good old yawn. Get a worker. Um, yeah, and then this one. This will go up. I'm going to get. Do I care 
about you having the two white. I feel like you also want Oh, to I also need to tuck a card. Black. Okay. Which I guess I'm gonna take two two yeah, white. So Me? Yes, and then I get this, which is going to be this person here. I'm going to... And I'm sorry, at the end of my turn, I now have fulfilled this Kui, so I go to Kui and get six more points. I'm going to do an Emperor in Yon. Oh, let me play a card. Do an Emperor in Yon. Or a Governor. Governor, Governor in Yon. That's going to get me a person. I'm going to get a... Um, one that I'm missing here. And I get to get two. This will go up. You get two colors, so I'll get um, I'll get two whites. Mm. I've got a white and a black. I don't know if that's smart. What color cards do you have? All of them, except for what? <laughs> except for one white. Okay, so if I were to take this one at the end and I pass through this, I can then send some to the ma mausoleum and then put, or to the here and then send them out immediately. Yes, yeah, so when you, wait, uh, at the end here, mm -hmm. you would get to send one out. So I believe how it works is at the end of your turn, you can send one out, mm -hmm. and then at the end of every claiming of these. Okay. Hand me the book, and I will confirm that. Because if I can't send both of them out, I need to move. Um. And then I don't need black. Every time a player unlocks a soldier, they take one from their playboard, put it in the entrance. At the end of their turn, or after accepting unification work, one or more. One or more. Okay. So I could claim two of them. Uh, yes. And it doesn't... That's it. It's not going to happen any other time, like at the end of the game or something. All right, so I will take two black ones um, there. I believe that's my only governor action. Okay, uh, that went up to you. Okay, I'm gonna go to build a palace. Okay, so I need higher than a 19. That seems easy. Seems easy. And Let's do this one, 75. So I'm going to build a palace in Kui, mm -hmm. spend these three here, um, take one of my palaces, so it'll be six points plus six, so 12 points. And 
and then I am going to take the white the white and oh. plus two okay I am going to govern or uh, emperor action in way score me two points or is that oh that's for every white tucked card so that's one two three four five six tied yeah um <clears throat> and uh yes okay to you i am also going to do the governor action um in zao Sweet bonus. No bonuses. And this goes down. I will do these in order again. And then it's to do these. Uh, and I should have gotten some uh, colors because I did the governor action. So I'm going to get two whites. And also getting two whites. You got him for the, oh, you got the governor action, or the emperor, governor action as well? Yes, what do you got? Uh, four. You're at six. We're both competing for that. Yeah. Um, and with, then. Oh, how many do you have? You're at six? Me? Uh, I can't beat it. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I got it. It's terrible. Uh, I, I mean, don't think I bumped that. And That's I think that terrible. is it. It's absolutely terrible. So I should have got green instead of white. Uh, my turn, you? Yes. Okay. I am going to do a wall action. And we're gonna go. How many did you spend? Just one. Well, there's only one spot for just. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Two. Yeah. But I'm gonna go here. Okay. Um, what color do you have in your hand? You too? No. Oh. <laughs> I am going to also do a wall action. And we'll go here. Okay. Uh, I get five victory points. And a worker doesn't matter too much. We'll put this guy. Okay, so. This is really terrible. I have to do this. I'm going to do an emperor a or a governor action in way. So I want you to take control of that. And I get four victory points. I assume you want to do this. Uh, I Oh, yeah. Oh, I haven't. I didn't wait this to get too black. I had a higher number. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna do an emperor. Or go <laughs> you got me saying <laughs> I emperor. know <laughs> a governor action in chew. Mm -hmm. So that bumps on down. Um, where's chew? Chew's right here. Mm. It doesn't disdain you or anything. Do you have any cards left? 
Do what? Do you have a card left? No, I just played it. I just played it. You'll play that. Oh, you went first. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to get the... The worker. I'm going to put it here. Get it working. Actually, no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, what color is your card? I'm going to do this and get two black. Okay. I'm going to force my hand there. Well. My card is 117. I either have to build a palace, which I cannot. I could take control of Chu. No, I cannot. I mean, I can't take control of Kui. I pretty much have to ship. And you messed me up by not giving me that one extra that I needed. But if I don't go there, I'm giving up 20 victory points. So we will be shipping. And we will go one, two, three. These two will come out and then they will go where they're supposed to go. I assume the pink. Here, here top yeah. and here. So that's 10 victory points. If you only have that, 34. Uh, good job completely messing up my last move there and also only giving me four victory points because I couldn't move <laughs> one of these also. So good job there. All right. Sorry, Paul. Yeah, I know uh, I got a bunch of victory points away from you too. You so. did. Um, okay, so let's finish up this round. Yeah, I won all the bonuses. You won all the bonuses as well. Yeah, you did. I won sure. all the unification. Yeah. Um, yep. So we'll build a wall section. <laughs> this is three points. <laughs> well, three points. I think that's uh, the only place you can go. I guess you could I go there. Two yeah. points. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's also it's three, three points. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I should have been more strategic on where I place guys at the end, yeah. but that's okay. Um. So that. What was the other? Palace. Uh, oh, and then a palace. And Which the is palace, six points. Yeah, it wants to go to Zao. Um, so that should be 12. No, that should be 6 plus 9, 15. Why 9? 1, 2, 3. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, the end. I think. Was that 25? Is it here? Okay. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. No, you're good. Okay. I thought you had moved me before. Um, and then your ship, you get to move it seven times. Yeah, I do. Awesome. Um, okay. Now we get to place people out if we would like to, mm -hmm. um, which I will place two people out. And you spend all of I yours. Spend all mine. Um, did I complete any other ones? I don't think I did. I also don't think did you uh, can actually place them now. Okay. It's only whenever After your, turn. your turn or the unification award. Okay. Um, all right. So that is... That's the, the game. That's it. That was a nice long one there. So we we're sitting at 80 to 34. Yeah. Um, so we need a pencil. All right, okay. so I'll be here and you are here. Um, so you are starting at 80 um, and I am at, oh, this, I just messed it up. <laughs> I'm at 34 and you're at 80. Okay, okay. got a little bit to overcome. Yep, um, so area First control. Up, area control. So let's go over the ones that you, I have your one, points. two. So you have two. Yep. We tied in two, which splits the points. Okay. Uh, so that is 30 points for you. 
uh, and I just have one, mm -hmm. and then we tied, so 20 points for me. Yes. Okay, um, blue cards. Um, blue. I believe you took all seven of yours. A, a six, right? Well, you had yeah. the master one also, right? Or do we start with five? You start with okay. five, yeah. So six times four so six is times 24. Four, 24. And I took um, four, four of them. So uh, six, times three because oh. you yeah. messed it. me up there at the end. <laughs> um, so that's 12. Uh, right there in the mausoleum, I'm at 10. And you should be at 20. Yeah. Walls. Uh, okay, so we'll go through uh, yours real quick. Yep. Um, so you have one, one two, in four three, different four. areas, yep. so that's four points. Four points. Um, you have uh, one. One, so, so that's, that's four. Eight points. No, it's just, oh, well, yeah. Um, next up, you have done all of those, so that is 18. I have. And so 18. All right. Uh, so I have uh, in each area. So that, uh, all, no, I have it in four areas, so that mm -hmm. is eight points. Um, I have done all of those, Okay. so that is 28. 28. Uh, I only did this one time, so that Plus is 31. Three. I only did this one, one time, 34. so 30, uh, 32. Oh, because you're on the one. Yeah. Yep. And then this, I believe, um, it's greater than or equal uh -huh. to, so one, Two, three, areas. four. Uh, so eight. another four, uh, eight points. So 34 so plus eight, 42. Wait, it was 32. Was it 32, 32 plus eight, so 40. 40. Okay. And then I get five and zero. Okay, so 34 plus 30 is. What was the five? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 60 plus 12 is, or, yep, 72, 82. 90, 100, 105. Okay. And you're at 100. <laughs> 44, 84, 184. There we go. And that is Zhang Gao, the first empire. All right, so that was the game. That uh, was the game. Yeah. So uh, it can be a crunchy long one. <laughs> um, this one is, I've never played a game where you're ordering of the way you do actions is so important so much yes mm. um this game is i will say it does get better the more you play it um just because you get used to what the actions are on the cards and what those bonus actions are and like you said it's just so important to oh uh this round i'm gonna do a governor and i'm gonna do a shipping oh this shipping lets me do this and this lets me do that and so like once you play it over and over and over, you know what those cards are going to do, and it just gets a little bit easier. Not much, but a little bit easier. Yeah, it's, it's I, man, uh, like Paul said, more plays of this game makes the game um, better, more fun. Yeah, yep. um, there is a ton of variable setup. Yes. So I didn't quite go over it in the beginning, but you have your baseboard yes. here, as well as this kind of double-sided for uh, the end of a round kind of bonuses, yep. right? All of the those tiles up there, the mausoleums, they all shuffle, as well as what where they are actually located mm -hmm. are all shuffled. And there's pre-printed. Um, the wall cards, they're random, and as you notice, they're different. We had, yeah. I think it was um, this one last game uh, in a three the spot. The banner on the three you spot. You know, in a yeah. three spot, um, and I was able to score really big on it yeah. this time. Uh, there wasn't that potential. Um, these tiles, these tiles, there's yeah. so much variable setup, and I actually think that is really good. Yeah. I think a lot of times with a game, um, it gets kind of stale. Like, oh, I know it. You have a strategy, and that's what you're going to do, and you can play the same game every single time. And with a game like this, or say like a Barcelona, it's a, since there is so much variability, your strategy is gonna completely change, right? The mausoleum, you're looking for those three in a row, three in a column. And, you know, one game you may go for Kui, Zhao, and Chu, but now that doesn't line up at all here, so you have to go for something different. And last game, there was a bunch of governors there, and now you need palaces there. So it's, yeah, it, it really changes the game. Yeah, um, and, and, you know, uh, the first, 
time we played this, we tried to do it all, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, and we've realized, and you can kind of see from our boards, we more specialized this yeah. time, right? Like you, uh, besides the blue ones, mm -hmm. that kind of do mm -hmm. everything, right? You focused on shipping, on yep. recruiting, right? Um, I did on the workers, and then on the governor action, yep. right? And you, you really learn that, oh, I need to specialize in this is the thing that I'm going to do. Um, and I think that adds to the fun of the game for yeah. me, right? First time I played the game, I had no idea what I was doing. That <laughs> yes. was the best way to... Mm -hmm. You can feel that a lot of times in a game. I have this never one, felt so lost. The fr with, with a game that has six, seven actions tucking, I have never felt so lost on what do I need to do. But again, the more you play it, the more comfortable you feel with it. It just makes sense. And it, it honestly is an easy game to play, but it is a very hard game to master. <laughs> yes. Um, but man, I can say I, I enjoy it. I enjoyed this playthrough quite a bit. Um, unfortunately, we've only played it at two. I yes. think this game could be, it will definitely add time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Every player sure. count is definitely going to add time. Especially um, if you get players with, with that are going to plan out everything even more, right? Like, because what I do changes your action, right? Whatever card I play, that might completely change you. So, yeah, you might have a plan ahead of time, but when it comes back to you, it might have completely changed. Especially with three or four players, it's the last person that matters, right? Yeah, and <laughs> so, so I, I, I'm really excited to try it at those player counts because, yes, the way that deck interacts... Um, I just think that can be really fun. Uh, mm -hmm. The area control, right? You really may have to just focus on, hey, I'm doing Kui yep. and I'm doing Chu because they're next to each other up there and that's it. Like I'm not even worrying about touching the other area. Yeah, and the, the player interaction is very high. I mean, the you sniped Kui out for me. That was my exact plan, exactly what you did. You just did it one turn sooner. And when you got the unification bonus of going to Kui, I knew, I was just like, all right, I'm giving up on there. I can't can't do it anymore um and then on your last round you put out so many governors that was my plan also i was going to put out a ton of governors and then i was like well now we just tied in all these areas yeah. instead of you instead know, of you taking instead of taking three or four points. of them yeah yeah because that was my plan was i'm gonna just kind of wait to the end and then control them and nope here you come and Take them over. <laughs> yeah, so it is. It's it's a really good game. Uh, if you haven't, check it out. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Definitely uh, if you're into engine builders, if you're into, honestly, it's it's like a pal paladins level kind of planning, more, right? It's even more than that. Um, so if that's your kind of game, if you're into that slow burn, you know, that beginning, just building your engine, really trying to, to specialize in something, and then just running it at the end, if you're into those games, this is one to check out. Yeah, so uh, as always, please like, comment, subscribe. All those things help us, help our channel grow. We appreciate it if you made it this long. Uh, shout a little comment in the bottom uh, saying, hey, I watched y'all's whole playthrough and I loved it, hated it, <laughs> whatever the case is. Uh, but other than that, I'm Devin, Paul, and we'll catch you next time.